following our exclusive interview with Vibes Cartel. Our Lisa Evers <laughs> is back with more of that interview that has a whole lot of people talking. Music critics from the Caribbean to North America and even the UK say dancehall superstar Vibes Cartel has always been the one to beat. He just released a new chart topping album, even though he's behind bars for a murder he insists he did not commit. Tonight, more of my exclusive conversation. You're about to hear how he keeps his head up, even though some look at him as just a killer. I have to because I know they want to destroy me. And if you know, Lisa, that somebody wants to destroy you, that's where they're going to get their pleasure from. No, you have to be on top of your game. You have to constantly be proving them wrong. So I think the haters are as much an influence to me in prison as the fans are. That's kind of how I stay strong and for my kids and, and my mother. In 2009, a couple of years before he was incarcerated, Vibes Cartel's hit song Romp and Chop with dancehall superstar Spice hit the top of the Billboard charts and crossed international borders, catapulting both artists to a new level of fame. Its success brought hundreds of thousands of dancehall lovers from around the world to Cartel's growing fan base called Gaza Nation. In their eyes, he's the king, period. How do you decide who's king of the dance hall? In dance hall, it's the influence that you have, the dominance that you have, the power that you have to be able to put people on, to destroy people if it's necessary musically. That's what the king is. Cartel's latest album reached number one on the Amazon music charts even before its official release date. It's streaming in top slots across all platforms like iTunes. His influence continues to grow. It's so incredible to me that you stay so positive behind bars. Have you always had that attitude of being grateful, no matter what the circumstances? When I was growing up, I didn't know I was going to be rich. I, you know, I grew up in the 80s. I thought rich people were rich, poor people were poor. That was it. It couldn't change. So I have to count my blessings to see that it, it can really change, you know? And a lot of people have that mindset too, thinking they're nothing or they're nobody. That's a terrible mindset to have. So me beating that mindset, getting the opportunities that I got, I have to be grateful. Cartel says besides his freedom, what he misses most is performing in front of live audiences. That could happen again as early as 2022 if the Privy Council in London approves his appeal. In the meantime, he continues to hope justice will prevail. With this Fox 5 exclusive, I'm Lisa Evers.